Okay. I will show the roles and permissions. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have seen uh, your blog post and your report. So now please uh, open the meeting agenda and we can use the meeting agenda structure, but we can be quicker because I think uh, our time is only like uh, 40 minutes here. Yeah? Okay. Uh, I'm so I'm sorry I can't find my uh, I think you need to switch the workspace this one yeah oh I'm sorry oops The agenda is in the calendar. Okay, let's start. Okay. So I will start from the personal best may I mm -hmm. okay um, so I have read about GraphQL and I thought it was just like no SQL uh, I mean MongoDB but it was a bit different I mean both uses like JSON format but yeah, one is API and another one is database management system, but non-relational. So, uh, I I explored GraphQL, GraphQL API. Maybe just theoretically, but it means more to me and then about GWT JSON web token okay a token that is generated to um, to maybe to authenticate a user mm -hmm. And then strappy roles and permission. Maybe especially for uh, the third, the third one, I I didn't know before that um, the perm the authorization is configured based on roles, mm -hmm. not. Not like um, for example, not in these uh, settings, but based on roles okay uh, i I think these three points highlights my personal best for this weekend. okay, that's good. and for the next meeting, please write your uh or update your agenda before the meeting, eh? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, next. Is this next scorecard review? Uh, yeah, but I think you don't have a scorecard yet, so we can skip to the rock review. Um, so uh, for ID card repository, mm -hmm. um, I think I just learned about authentication and authorization, mm -hmm. which uh, which have which have important roles on 
เดอะมีร็อกส์ฟอร์บิสควอเตอร์ but I have not done anything else for rock review okay so what you are doing now is actually toward the that goal yeah your goal is to make an ID card repository and clarification system uh, and this should be done uh, by June 30 so in this rock review what you are what you need to say is whether what you are doing right now is on track to implementing or completing this rock ID card repository and verification system do you think uh, your progress is is good for now towards that goal so um, I think so so okay if you think it is on track you can write on the right side you can say on track on track Yeah. Okay. And I Thank think you, you can sir. delete. You can delete the second line, the on off track because that's just like a help text. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Okay. For customer or team member headlines. Uh, personally, I have watched some of videos mm -hmm. that they made in YouTube, in Lovia team channel. And uh, may I comment? I mean, may I give? Uh, should should I give review? Sure. Uh, to them sure in this section yeah sure although if that's a comment on the video actually you can comment directly on the video but you can uh, say it here now uh, so oops I think they explain detail you know uh, about what they are showing in their videos but uh, not all videos that I have watched Mm -hmm. I I mean not all videos I have watched until the end of video so mm -hmm. some of them I just watched maybe uh, several minutes of beginning mm -hmm. so maybe I can't comment more but recently maybe recently I could not see any video updates mm -hmm. um, for example mm -hmm. usually on YouTube recommendation mm -hmm. I see new videos uploaded uh, from the channels that I sub subscribe which includes mm -hmm. Lovia team mm -hmm. but uh, before I posted um, several hours ago mm -hmm. I saw that the last uh, post on Lovia team is six days ago mm -hmm. I mean uh, I often see that um, Lovia team post like just like two days ago or or maybe several hours ago mm -hmm. it, it is common and I see I mean I, I see often about the video upload mm -hmm. but I think uh, it's not a big deal just what I thought about team member 
Mm -hmm. And for to-do list, I published video on YouTube channel. Okay. I created an article and I posted it already. Mm -hmm. And for authentication and authorization. Okay. Feature on REST API, I've done that, but only on bearer token. Mm -hmm. I mean, I should explore more about that for mm -hmm. authentication. Okay. But using GWT, uh, I have done it enough, I think. And should I, should I give a mark for this? Um, okay, uh, have you done all the onboarding steps? Onboarding? Yeah, when you click it, uh, there are steps, right? Have you done everything in there? If you have, then you can uh, check it if you have completed because the card itself is still in progress. Oh. If not yet, then yeah, you can do it for next week. It's just a review. I think I have not completely done about that. Okay. So, three days ahead, calendar reviews. I mean, is this about, is this is about what I have done seven days ago? Uh, no, it's ahead. So that means like the next seven days, oh, but it's usually for events. But I think that we do not have events yet, so uh, we can skip this part for now. Okay. Issues list. Okay, so do you have uh, any issues that you want to discuss? Because these issues are I, from me. I mean, oh, okay. So the issue is about the database management system configuration on Strapi, which, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the, my project, my Strapi project uses SQLite because I have, mm -hmm. uh, I have not configured it initially. Mm -hmm. So, so, um, do I have to create new project to configure Mongo or just um, delete the SQLite from the configuration? Okay, I would say that whatever uh, is good for you uh, because basically for, you have a goal, right? A rock and the rock is to create an ID card repository. And for that, you, you will need to create a new project and then to uh, push that to GitLab. But for learning purpose, you can use your current project and make that MongoDB or make another project and and then configure that to use MongoDB. I think it will be better if you create a new project and configure MongoDB there because at least when something goes wrong, you can compare mm. uh, your, uh, your project that is working with SQLite and the, the project that is using MongoDB, okay. Or maybe you can like copy your project to another folder and to test it, okay. Okay. So, so that's uh, that's an so issue that I want to uh, to assign to you. And so for next week, uh, please also demonstrate that you are able to. Uh, to make Strapi work with MongoDB, at least MongoDB on your local computer first. Okay, sir. So uh, please copy that to the to-do list below. So I think for the GraphQL, it's still also not, not entirely done yet. I've read your blog and mm -hmm. it's just like an overview, but you have not 
demonstrated how to do query uh, on GraphQL and how to edit data or delete data or insert new data using GraphQL, right? So you have to you have to do that too on GraphQL. And I think okay, MongoDB, and also the second one is the oh, I think the use and demonstrate authentication and authorization permissions. Okay, you can you can copy that first because that will be also your to do. So next one, this one. Yeah, that one you should move to point number five, to do list because that was from last week, right? So this week that should be from there yeah that should be there so move that from eight to you, you can just move you don't you don't need to like copy and paste just move oh you can drag and drop okay now you can drag and drop 2.5 and then you can check that out but that should be done before the meeting okay that's what i mean by you need to update your meeting agenda before the meeting is that you uh, you make the meeting agenda updated with the current state. Okay. So any question about the MongoDB configuration issue? Um, I have not, um, I have not seen about that. So mm -hmm. I will just try to find tutorials and if I, encountered a problem maybe i will ask you okay so but, uh but mm -hmm. i have a question for uh, this one id card repository database schema so okay um is this the schema that i would create in i would create using graphql or mm -hmm. should no, I mean, no should i create a that's, new strapi project uh, strapi yeah Strapi, and that should be a new Strapi project, right? Because it's different than the, the one that you are trying to test. Okay, and we will need to revise that schema over time. But basically, uh, when you are using Strapi, the, the schema of the GraphQL will be like almost the same with the one in Strapi. But this one, I'm talking about the Strapi schema. The structure of uh, collections, yeah, collections and the properties. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, is a MongoDB server working on your computer? I think it is. Okay. Yeah, I hope it's still working because well, a few months ago you had you had problems with running MongoDB, right? Okay, that's good. It's working. Nice. Oh, sorry. So of course, before before you can run Strapi with MongoDB, that means your MongoDB must be still working. Okay. 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 So the issue number two is that your rock, uh, your uh, your goal in this internship is that you need to create an ID card repository and uh, verification system, yeah? Mm -hmm. And to do that, the back end is using Strapi. And you will also need to deploy that to, uh, to our production server. So the first step on that, after you have learned Strapi, is that mm -hmm. you create the database schema for that, okay? So you will need to create that uh, during the next week. So I think for next week, you have three to-dos, right? GraphQL, MongoDB, and also the ID card repository database schema. And when you have done that, then we can discuss next week uh, whether there are things that, uh, that need to be revised. Um, may I add one more, sir? Okay. About the GraphQL on, on Strapi, I mean, okay. mm -hmm. so the plugin is already installed, but mm -hmm. 
for example, when I open slash GraphQL, so uh, this is the query. I mean, okay. Um, maybe I have not fully understand about. Okay, try to write the uh, curly, curly start there. I, I don't think that you need to like uh, design a schema or something. Let's try to, yeah, and uh, enter. Try to write, okay, control space in there. Is there any, yeah, try to do control space. Okay, try to get one. Okay, image repos. Have you tried this one before? I think image repos first. Because image repos is the like the collection one, okay, and then okay another curly and then control space, okay. Oh, try to get all of them, all of them, mm -hmm. yeah. Oops, and all of the properties. Okay. And also the created ad and updated ad, uh, you can use that too. Okay, try to run it, uh, see if it works. Yeah, mm. it works. Oh, it's error, yeah. Upload file must have a selection of subfields. Okay, so for the photo, okay, so for the photo, you need to curly again, okay, because there are subfields there. Okay, control space to get the fields. Uh, oh, it yeah. is another. Yeah, because the photo has a file name and so on and so on. Yeah. So as you can see in GraphQL, you need to specify what fields that you want. Mm -hmm. It's different, like uh, in uh, REST API, you don't have to list everything by, by default it gives you everything right but actually i like graphql because of this because you need to be specific on what you want okay if you don't ask it then you don't get it hmm. okay and then related Okay, so maybe you can comment on the related first. Yeah, you can just comment. I think comment is using, yeah, that. Okay, try it. Oh. Okay, that's good. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so it's working, but uh, this is like a uh, query for all. Okay, mm -hmm. so I need you to yep. explore and you can like do a, a list but with a filter, yeah, because you don't have any filter here, right? You need to be able to like filter based on nama or based on something. And then how to get just one document and whether you can insert a new document, you can update the document, you can delete a document using GraphQL. And also don't forget, uh, okay, GraphQL with authentication. For, so for now, I think you don't need to use any password or token, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, if I put there, uh, first authentication, unauthenticated, then with uh, authentication and authorization, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I put that on the that one. So you can try to play with it first without uh, token or username password. But of course, in real life, you have to use authentication and authorization okay. because you, you cannot like uh, let anyone to uh, access the GraphQL API. Okay, sir. Okay, so any question about GraphQL? So what do you think about GraphQL just by a few seconds before? Is it better or worse uh, than REST API? <laughs> so. First, uh, it has only single endpoint, which is slash GraphQL. 
Yeah, I mean, unlike true. REST API that has uh, many endpoints mm -hmm. uh, depending on what we want to use, uh, like maybe it depends on HTTP methods and mm -hmm. other things such as uh, slash op slash local, mm -hmm. uh, which authenticates a user. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is uh, just different, uh, but to do, I have not explored yet about uh, crude process mm -hmm. using GraphQL, and mm -hmm. I will do so uh, in upcoming weeks. So, uh, GraphQL is say much better than REST API, but mm -hmm. maybe I have to experience about that by making, yeah, some. Uh, schemas, queries, mm. and tests mm -hmm. on Postman and etc. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So after you were playing with GraphQL, uh, because I think a lot of things that GraphQL can do, you can do in REST API and vice versa. So after you have uh, explored uh, GraphQL and how to do CRUD and also how to do authentication and authorization. Uh, I want you to compare, okay, your experience and review uh, GraphQL versus REST API. What do you think? Okay, I want your opinion on that one. Sure, sir. Okay. So I hope that will be interesting for you. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Okay, so any more question? Uh, currently, I have no question. Mm. Hopefully, I can. Yeah, I can learn it fast. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. About the ID card repository, the database schema. I think, um, if you want, you can like make a drawing, or you can you can just directly use a new Stripey project for it. It's up to you which one uh, that you feel is more comfortable, but the, the goal of discussing the database schema is that so you and me can discuss about the database, the database schema because I know the requirements, right? So while discussing the database schema, uh, we can come together on the same page. Okay, so what fields are needed, what are not needed, and how the, uh, the business process, okay, how the system should work, uh, and based on how the system should work, that means okay, so we need these fields and so on and so on. Okay, so for example, uh, mm -hmm. all of the fields that are in a KTP must be there, okay. So as you can see, KTP has like provinsi, nama, tanggal lahir, of course, they are translated to English, so that means like province, name, address, um, gender, birth date, birth place, all of them must be in the database. Okay. Because if uh, the system cannot store that data, then that means the repository is not yet complete. Okay, so, but we can discuss that next week. Okay. Okay. Uh, should I make field for uh, mm -hmm. photo? I mean, personal. Yes, yes. Photo inside the KTP card. Actually, there should be two fields for photo. First mm -hmm. is the. I would say that maybe there should be like three, three photo fields. One is the is the photo of the KTP card itself. The second mm -hmm. one is a field for the photo of a person that is holding the card. So for example, if this is my KTP, and then I will take a photo of me holding my KTP. Hmm. Okay. And that's, that's to ensure that the person is actually the person that is claiming the KTP. Because if not, then you can like get a, download a KTP for, from the internet or something, right? So to ensure that 
the person is really the one that is holding the KPP. That's the second field. And the third mm -hmm. field is the, uh, because in KTP there's a photo, right? The small photo inside the KTP, that will be the third field or the photo. I would say oh, that. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. So you have like three files in one, uh, in one, uh, in one document there. So I don't know. Exactly. I don't know how uh, to structure that yet. That's that will be you to propose the structure. So for example, now what I think is that there is just one document that contains all the fields. But you, if you have a different opinion, like uh, I think we should make it two two collections or three collections then that's uh that's uh, that's your proposal the, you have a relational database uh, course right in your studies well, i had that yeah or database design course so mm -hmm. you have like a business case or a business process and then you design the database for it so yeah please please design the good database schema for that hopefully i can okay and maybe uh mm -hmm. maybe in the next meeting i can i can uh, if you have created the database schema uh, i can bring uh Firhan, yeah, to to also join the meeting so we can discuss oh. the schema together maybe yeah maybe we'll see um uh, as far as i know i he is working on fraud detection uh, right? yeah he was he was working on it uh on uh nsfw for uh photo fraud however he has changed his topic to ID card extraction, mm. ID card extraction. So what he is doing now is that given a photo of the KTP, he will extract that into structured data. Wow. So from image becomes like a JSON of Jason. nama and a birth date and so on and so on. So that extracted data will be inserted into the database. And the database is using Stripe and MongoDB. So as you can see that there is a overlap in there. So maybe starting next week, if uh, everything goes well, then we can have a meeting with uh, three of us. So we can discuss together and that will be a start of a collaboration. Okay. I mean, I really want to know how to extract that, but Yes, this, that is another topic. He already posted the video on uh, Lafia team if you want to know how it works. It's, mm -hmm. it's already there. Okay. So uh, hopefully I can watch it later. Okay. Yeah. And, and then... when this is working, then what he is doing will be inserted into the database that you created using Strapi. And yeah, something like that. <clears throat> okay, so is there any issues that you would like to discuss or you want to conclude um, the meeting? So For authentication and authorization, mm -hmm. I think um, maybe I should uh, dive, deep, dive deeper into it. Okay. But first, uh, I would like to understand more about GraphQL and to configure MongoDB on Stripe because mm -hmm. barely I have almost no idea about it. Mm, okay. And 
uh, yeah, for the <laughs> field naming, I didn't notice that I, I, I named the capital letter at the first letter of any variables. Yeah. Yeah, no, no problem about that one because previously your task is just to learn about Strapi, right? As long as you mm -hmm. can use Strapi, you can edit data in it, you can configure it, you can uh, do REST API and GraphQL. So all of them are the the difficult parts. Okay, changing the name is is easy. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's much harder to learn REST API and GraphQL than changing the name. Okay. Okay. One, I think this is very essential. Hmm. Yeah, about in software yeah. engineering, wherever, yeah. whatever application that anyone creates. Okay, um, that was about GraphQL and REST API. Hmm. And I think I will try to overcome the issues list mm -hmm. and for me uh, that's all from me okay um, I would say that about the GraphQL and REST API uh, there are lots of articles on the internet about this uh, debate yeah or discussion mm -hmm. but I would say that you should uh, experience it for yourself yeah when you experience it yourself you can have a better knowledge whether uh, is it GraphQL better or REST API better or maybe uh, something else mm -hmm. and I would say that from this to do the most important one that you must get done within the next week is this one that I moved to top is that the ID card repository database schema okay so please make this a priority first uh, because so next week when I invite uh, Virhan to join I hope that uh, all three of us can uh, can agree on the time yeah can agree on the time mm. so um, it can uh, although maybe uh, he will join only for a part of the meeting after that and if he wants to leave that's okay just for this part so we have something to discuss because if you have not uh drafted yet the database schema then we will have nothing to discuss so please make this a priority and after that then of course you can do like a GraphQL and MongoDB and so on okay thank you um so the database schema is collection in MongoDB is that yeah. right yeah, it's a collection among EDB or yeah, in Strapi that will be also a, what what is it in Strapi entity or document? Uh, collection type. Yeah, collection type. That will be a collection type. So okay. you can you can create that in uh, Strapi if you want. Mm -hmm. So basically, that you will need to present that uh, in your video, and I will also ask Firhan to review your video so that we can discuss. So. So, and uh, what are the fields that you have prepared on that collection type and so on. Okay. I think, um, yes, that's all my question. Okay. Uh, if it's done, then you can conclude the meeting, give ratings. So uh, I've just realized that what I, what I have done so far is to um, just to learn Strapi. I mean, mm -hmm. I was thinking seriously that the image repo that I have created is the uh, rock rock. Uh, rock progress mm -hmm. or something that is that, that will be used on the real project but 
Mm -hmm. uh, no problem because if in case something improper thing happens, uh, that there is no big deal. So I can learn without mm -hmm. any worries, without worrying mistakes. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much about that. Mm -hmm. Do you have any suggestion on the on the project, or uh, you think you should learn something more than Strapi? Of course, you will not only learn Strapi because uh, in okay. order to complete your rock, Strapi is one element, but you need to integrate that with another system. Okay. But why I want you to learn Strapi first is that if you have a good, uh, strong knowledge on Strapi. Then that mm -hmm. means when you move on to the next part of the component, then your foundation in Strapi and REST API and GraphQL, and also on security, yeah, authorization and uh, authentication, authentication. Yeah, will help you to, to do that because then you have you are confident. Okay, these uh, these things uh, you already know how to do well, and then you can expand that and integrate that with the other system. That that's my plan, but do you have any uh, other suggestion with that? I I, I completely agree, and mm. I hope to. I hope I can do well. Mm. Okay, okay. So maybe just to give a glimpse, uh, actually in the um, ID card repository and verification system, uh, we will. Yeah, we, uh, you and me, and uh, mm -hmm. maybe other uh, uh, the team members, uh, especially Firhan and uh, I think Anki will too. Uh, different uh, different roles, yeah. I'm the project manager. Mm -hmm. You are uh, on the back end of this ID card verification system. Uh, Firhan is dealing with the. Uh, uh, text extraction, the artificial intelligence part of it, and uh, mm -hmm. my plan is that Anki will handle the user interface of it, the front end, okay, and that will uh, get work together. And to make that work together, then there will be a system. So we'll need to agree on a BPM end process, okay, like using Kamunda that I've uh, I've discussed uh, before that. Uh, you and I are not yet uh, into Kamunda at this point, but there will be that point. And so you will need to learn about Kamunda and you will also need to learn how to create a TypeScript worker for Kamunda. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how to uh, make the business logic so not just repository, but also a system because system needs a business logic, right? How to handle with it. This is wrong. This is, this is error and other stuff, not just a database. But in order to move to that, to expand to that, then my suggestion is that you get to know Starpy better, you get to know GraphQL better. So when there are problems and so on and so on, you okay? I I I have known this before. I know this error, and you can fix it. I think I think you make a good progress because uh, now you know how REST API works, right? That's very important. Uh, I hope so. And yeah, and and you know how to. Log in and get the JWT token. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Thank you, sir. Okay, you can continue or conclude. And then, um, yeah, so. I will dive deeper to GraphQL and MongoDB configuration on Strapi. Mm. And uh, hopefully uh, this understanding makes me better and faster to perform on ID card repository mm. uh, project, which at first 
I will create data database schema. Mm. So that is what I can conclude about this. Thank you. Okay. So uh, should we continue to writing or okay? Um, maybe I will give 8.5. Okay, I will give an 8. Very nice. And you have posted the blog post before, so yeah, it's good. I like it. And also the video, right? Okay. Actually, but the video, there, there are already meetings that uh, have been recorded but not yet uh, uploaded to Lofia team. Oh, um, yeah. The first and uh, second one? Huh? What do you mean? Um, maybe when I initially created Strapi, mm -hmm. what one? Uh, which I have just um, uploaded the article but mm -hmm. not yet video mm -hmm. i mean uh are you asking to upload that no 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 uh it's i mean the the, the other videos on lofia team youtube uh you said that uh, uh there are no videos uh since like six days right yeah that's true uh because uh, i haven't uploaded uh, these videos Something like that. Okay. Um, so maybe I will duplicate this and mm -hmm. put it on next week. Yep. Okay, and, uh, maybe could, can you add Firhan to it and then I will confirm whether he will be available on that time as well. Can you can you invite Firhan to that in the attendees? Oh yeah, here then you can. Okay, I will uh, confirm his, uh, if he will be available uh, next week. Oh, um, if, uh, if he wants to move the meeting uh, meeting time mm. i think um, as long as i can attend uh, no yeah that's no problem mm. yeah but yeah let's uh, I, I will talk with him about this Um, So I have moved uh, some this to to do list. 
Mm -hmm. So this is for next meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so thank you very much. All right. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.